Today is Tuesday, and it is a very big day. It starts the moment he gets into the temple, and people who have determined to resist him at every step say, by what authority are you doing these things? Who gave you this authority? Jesus answers them by pointing to John the Baptist and said, is his authority from heaven or earth? Immediately it's game on. There's a battle that's gonna take place for the whole rest of the day. Those that are trying to undermine and disprove Jesus, and Jesus trying to say, but I have been given the authority as Lord and Savior, and I have come to do what is the will of God. So Jesus says, let me explain it to you with some parables. There's two sons. They're asked by their father to go into the field to work, and the oldest one says, sure, but he doesn't go. The other one says, no, sir, and later realizes his father has the authority to ask that of him, and so he goes. Or a manager who has a vineyard, and this man has prepared it, handed it over to some other people to take care of it. Will they accept his instructions, how he wants his vineyard to be provided for, or will they do their own and they resist? The questions go back and forth and back and forth. They ask silly questions like, do we have to pay taxes to Caesar? Is that lawful? Or they ask a good question, but solely to test Jesus. What is the greatest commandment? Hoping he'll get tripped up. But Jesus answers everything and finally reaches a point that his authority is so obvious to everyone that the opposition will no longer ask questions anymore. They're embarrassed. They're ashamed. So Jesus then at that point launches on his fifth sermon. There's five sermons that Matthew's gospel is structured around. The first one is that famous one we know, the Sermon on the Mount. This fifth one is also a Sermon on the Mount. It's on the Mount of Olives. Jesus is with his disciples looking back at the temple and saying, I need to talk to you about what's going to happen to this place. And he begins to talk about the authority to come in judgment. In 40 years, Jerusalem will pay for their resistance of God. But also there is a greater judgment that will happen at the end of time and Jesus will return and all mankind will stand before the throne of God and will be brought to submit to his authority. And so the question is, where will you stand? Jesus says, if you are a person who has said, I submit to the will of God and I recognize the authority of Jesus Christ, you will hear, well done, good and faithful servant. If on the other hand, you have chosen to resist and you insist on doing it your own way, you will hear, depart from me, for I never knew you. What will we do with the authority of Jesus?